Hello guys, after literally a very very long time, I am making this video on educational content as well. Apart from being a tech reviewer on YouTube, I also teach in my regular career as well. I love teaching, that is what I have done so far. The reason of making this video is, I wanted to just give a touch on heterocyclic chemistry or heterocyclic compounds we can call. Okay, what do you mean by a heterocyclic molecule? Obviously, everybody knows this a cyclic molecule is a closed ring structure not just benzene any closed ring structure we can call it as a cyclic structure now what is heterocyclic hetero atom or heterogeneous what do you mean by this word hetero is a foreign particle maybe some different particle apart from the regular atoms which constitutes in the molecule or in the benzene you can see all the molecules or I mean all the atoms are made up of what carbon but if you introduce one alien atom or one hetero atom then this becomes a heterocyclic compound okay we'll be learning a few of the heterocyclic compounds in this whole syllabus uh, some of which I can name it as indole, quinoline, isoquinoline, cumarin, benzimidazole and imidazole what we'll be learning in this apart from that there are another few of them as well which we'll see as we proceed with this chapter as well so the first molecule which i want to discuss today is indole the first molecule is indole now basically my style everybody knows how i begin the chapter i break down what is the name of this first okay so let me just break down what is an indole indole is made up of two uh, constituent reactants that is I and D I G O indigo plus oleum oleum you know dehydrated H2SO4 and indigo is a dye which gives the color okay now ind is the first three oleum ka second three that is how we have got the indole name it is prepared from two things and the name is also given similar to that now let me proceed with this we have seen the name of it but we have not seen the structure of indole right let me just draw the structure of indole okay the indole structure is a fused structure with a benzene and a pyrrole ring pyrrole is a five membered and hetero atom is nitrogen in it is and of course you will be getting conjugation as well uh, if we if we are getting conjugation then means it is aromatic if it is aromatic then it has to satisfy the electron rule so therefore this satisfies the 10 pi electron rule and hence it is aromatic and hence it is aromatic in nature obviously okay let me just give you the numbering scheme of this uh, indole molecule itself it begins from the hetero atom that is nitrogen this is your first first atom 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 why not these two positions if you ask those are bridgehead positions and reactivity is very less at this position so we are least bothered about naming them as well but still we name them as 3a and 7a in our opinion okay so this is how the numbering of the indole takes place okay now we have to learn some basic uh, properties of this indole itself now the basic properties of the indole stands as uh, the molecular weight it is soluble or non soluble since it is an organic compound it is soluble in aqueous or no it is soluble in organic itself those all details which are very minor are given in the description the whole pdf what the reference is is given in the description itself so please do go ahead and check that as well now apart from that if you ask me what is my reference of teaching this I have referred to EPG Partsala online uh, study material which is prepared from IIT uh, professors which is absolute good material for any of the PG courses you are into. So uh, that is what is my reference as well. So with that itself I will be teaching you some resonance, synthesis, properties, application and uses of this. Obviously we will be studying reactions as well where does the reaction takes place and what not as well. Now let me just begin the whole of this session by taking the resonance of this molecule. Now you may ask why you do you need a resonance for the molecule? In order to understand where the electrophilic attack takes place or the nucleophilic attack takes place in order to understand which position the electron rich centers are. 
so that we can attack them or the electron rich centers will come and attacks your electrophile or the nucleophile whichever is there that is why we study resonance understood why we are doing first understand why we are doing what we are doing then it is very easy for you to remember and very easy for me to teach as well right okay okay let me begin with the resonance of this okay when i talk about resonance of a indole the indole basic molecule is a fusion of two rings that is pyrrol and benzene and obviously benzene is aromatic and it is conjugated as well now pyrrol ring where does the resonance begin this there is an extra lone pair on the nitrogen atom from here the uh, resonance begins the lone pair are donated to this bond and this bond shifts on the next carbon itself i'll just draw this over here this is your benzene conjugated and here is your negative charge n double bond h now you tell me what will be the sign on nitrogen obviously it will be plus okay again you have this uh, uh, set of electrons or the negative charge which is donated to the next uh, carbon carbon bond itself and this shifts to the next carbon atom the pi electrons get shifted to the next carbon atom so therefore what we are getting over here negative charge at this position here is your double bond n and here is your double bond obviously n is getting positive charge and is here is your h okay now these two bonds remain over here now this electrons get shifted to the next bond and this pi electrons get shifted to the next carbon atom so therefore what we are getting just come on tell me what we are getting of course here we are getting a double bond here is a double bond n another double bond h obviously positive and here is your next negative charge and here here is your pi electrons itself now this uh, negative charge or the, or the extra lone pair of electrons are shifted to the next bond and this continues now tell me at which position is the negative charge at this position so here is your another double bond double bond h n gets the positive charge obviously here is your double bond another one the electrons are getting shifted over here so obviously you will get a double bond over here as well i hope everything is clear for everyone now this bond gets shifted over here and the negative charge comes on to the pyrrol ring now negative charge comes on to the pyrrol ring just keep on concentrating on whatever the tricks i am going to tell you okay so the negative charge in is on the pyrrol ring itself now obviously n is going to get a positive charge these are your new double bonds here it comes and back again and you get the original molecule itself what happened the uh, this pi electrons started shifting on the besides carbon to carbon bond and the positive charge of the nitrogen is now satisfied itself so this is how the resonance takes place now if you observe what is the key take away from this is where are the electron rich centers tell me at which position are the electron rich centers at this position which is this position at third position we are getting again at 7a position we are getting since it is a bridge head carbon reactions are usually very less so ignore them okay again at which carbon we are getting at sixth position again we are getting negative or the electron rich center at sixth position and at which is this position fourth position we are getting electron rich center okay again on the third position itself we are getting i hope you understood the the two key take, take away point from the resonance is the negative charges are present on third sixth and fourth position itself so that is what we had intended to find out of this okay next what we will be learning in the indole molecule is we will be seeing about the synthesis one or two synthesis we will see fischer indole is there medlong synthesis is there both we'll see with the mechanism of very detailed explanation will be given of course in epg part cell it is not given in that depth of an explanation but i'll make sure that you know every hydrogen atom and every electron where it goes into this mechanism itself
wait for this video so that molecule is just redrawn over here and from this molecule the final result comes in